Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, real excited. Got the uh, NCA bracket yesterday. Real happy with our seeding, who we're playing back here at home uh, with the bye. So that, that that's where we are, you know, last weekend. And I don't know what to say. Air Force had our number this year somehow. I mean, the game for, for the record books goes as a tie. D definitely disappointing um, to lose in PKs. But I think uh, the, the, the positive spin on it is it, uh, it keeps you on your toes and, and you always realize, you know, you're, you're mortal. And um, after, you know, seven straight shutouts, probably a little reality check wasn't the worst thing for us. But, but you know, expected to win and, and, and it was disappointing. But I think rather than feeling uh, bad about ourselves, um, I'm really happy for Air Force. That's that's quite a quite a proud group of players who, you know, played to the last minute. So, uh, you know, that's kind of behind us. We're on to the second season, single elimination NCAA tournament here at home with the bye, and, and, and we're ready to go. Um, I, I think a good matchup for us. Uh, we play the winner of Lafayette and University of Virginia. Um, I think the pundits would tell you that Virginia would be the favorite, the big favorite in that game, but you never know in the NCAA tournament, which we've seen in every sport. But uh, we'll be well prepared, we'll be healthy, and I think playing at home will bring a lot of energy to our guys, and, and uh, it'll be a hard game for somebody that's not at all familiar with New Mexico or the Western United States or our environment. So. I think it gives us a, a great advantage going into this match. No, yeah, full on. You know, we're getting tapes. Just we'll have scouting reports prepared for both teams. Um, we're not sure if that's going to be televised or streamed Thursday's game at Virginia. So we're doing everything in our power to get as much information on both teams and we'll prepare for both. Yesterday yeah. you talked about one of the things you wanted was to bring in a team who hasn't played here mm -hmm. and used to this field. Can you explain why that's important? I mean, it's, it, it's a pretty special atmosphere here when the place is full and rocking, and I think it will be on Sunday. Uh, it's it's uh, you know, it's a unique environment just coming to New Mexico. You know, I'm from the Midwest. I knew this was the wild, wild west to me and, you know, didn't know what to expect. And I think if you're coming from Virginia or Pennsylvania, it's even more extreme. And, and coming to the altitude and to something, uh, you, you know, uncertainty, it all, always uh, adds a little stress. So, uh, that, you, you know, it will be a challenge. But that being said, Anytime you're playing 18 to 23 year olds, they do think they're invincible and uh, they'll be excited to play here and they'll be energized by our crowd just as, as we will. So I think it's gonna be a great match regardless of the opponent. Uh, our uh, focus is on our team and, and, and being our best. And, and, and if we're at our best and we're scoring goals, I think we're an excellent team. If we allow teams to stay in the game and it's close, you know, it, it, it's, uh, Anything can happen. So uh, I'm excited. You know, it's a very good team. I mean, we've had a great year, 16-3-1. and one. You know, I've, I've thought about, you know, we played 20 matches, and we were, in the, we were the favorite 19 of the 20 games. You know, the one game we probably weren't the favorite was UCLA at UCLA, and we won that one. And it's quite a, it's quite a task being the favorite, you know, and, and it's something – as our program has uh, evolved and matured, it's something that uh, an adjustment that we've had to make, but that we were everybody's big game all year. And uh, I'm really proud of how our guys carried themselves and, and how they dealt with, with that pressure. I think when you're going into the NCAA tournament, you know, if you have a home match, you are the favorite. Um, and then after that, you know, if you're fortunate enough to go on the road, pressure's off a little bit. And, that, and that's not a bad thing for us. Uh, in terms of the two opponents, um, I mean, Lafayette won the Patriot League, a good league, but I think a lot of parity, um, working class players, tough players, you know, a good team. Virginia's, uh, you know, one of the most uh, 
storied teams in NCAA soccer, you know, in terms of national championships, producing uh, national team players. It's, it's a great program. So I think they would come in with the, just a little bit more confidence than, than Lafayette. And uh, yeah, both, they, they both are good and bad. So it, it'll be a great matchup for us. But our, I know our guys are confident and they're really excited to be at home and have that energy of the crowd and we expect to win when we play at home. How much do you think getting everybody's best all year prepares you for this moment? Yeah, I mean, we knew we had to be good. And, and, and it's the problem with kind of our schedule and, and where we've been the last two years in expecting to win all the time is you take losing so hard. I mean, we've lost. Uh, up until today, you know, we still have games to go. We've lost three games in two years, and our guys aren't used to losing. And uh, that is a lot of pressure, but it also says something about them, and they've stepped up when it's time to step up. And, and, and last year in the NCAA tournament, you know, we were very good. We, we didn't get the result uh, that we wanted. And I think we've matured from it. I, I, I think we're a different team. I'm not going to say we're better or worse, but we're more mature and we're pretty hungry this year. So it's the mentality that we're going to be our best. We're going to make it difficult for our opponent. And, you know, we, we, we should be confident, but cautious. What do you take from last year's tournament? I mean, last year's tournament, we were, uh, we were good at home and, and we're at home now. And we're rested in our in our preparation. I think that's all you look at. It's not about uh, the the you know the the next round. I mean, our focus needs to be on Sunday's game. You know, our focus needs to be on today. It needs to be on recovering. It needs to be eliminating stress, whether it be academic, whether it be you know physical, mental. It's being in a good state where you can give your best performance. And in soccer, when you play good teams, anything can happen. And, and you have to control the things that you have control over. And that's kind of been our mantra this season. You know, ha control what you can control. Uh, good team chemistry. Um, take care of all the little things, you know, in terms of your health and tactically and preparation. And uh, more times than not, you'll be successful with the group of players that we have. Oh, Patrick and goal was great. I thought he was excellent uh, on Sunday. You know, he was thrown into a big situation to open the season against UCLA. I thought he was fantastic. Yeah, we have complete confidence in him. I mean, Vic's just got a little more experience, that's all. But I, I, as far as our team goes, yeah, we don't miss a beat. And it'll be good, you know, we, on Sunday, we rested James Rogers, he could have played but we didn't feel it was worth uh, risking it. And James, a dynamic player, he's, you know, 100% as of today, ready to go, you know, so we're, uh, we're at full strength. And, and when we're at full strength and clicking, it's a, a pretty exciting team to watch. And, and, and like I said, we'll, we'll be very hungry. I'm not gonna say we took Air Force lightly. It was just a tough game. Uh, I mean, we're a team that matches up against teams that uh, wanna play us kind of straight up. And, and uh, Air Force kn knew their strengths and knew their weaknesses, and they played very defensive, and they just played really direct. And the only way they were going to score off us was off set pieces. And that's how they did. You know, it was a direct kick, bouncing ball, incredible goal. Um, the, the teams that were playing in the tournament are successful teams who have a lot of confidence, and they want to play, uh, they want to get at it and just play us, you know. I mean, straight up's a funny term. I mean, to me, it means that they want the ball on the on the on the you know on the on the the floor. They want to get at you. They want one v one matchups. They're going to leave themselves exposed. And uh, the team that has better individuals and, and collectively is better as a unit should win. And I and I like our chances. I mean, the big thing for us is. Uh, you know, the people of uh, Albuquerque, the people of New Mexico that have just been such incredible supporters of this program to understand the impact they have on uh, 
you know, our game performance, just the, the environment and the energy the people bring. We need everybody out there on Sunday. That just brings so much to our team, and, and, and that's what we're about. We're playing for, you know, not only the university and the athletic department, we're playing for the city of Albuquerque and the state of New Mexico, and we take a lot of pride having New Mexico across our jerseys. And, and when we got the people out there, it just brings tremendous energy to everyone. So hopefully it's a big crowd. You know, we can recreate that atmosphere last year when we sold the place out and there was lines getting in. That's, that's what we're hoping for.